Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We are Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have a short what's sold video for you today. Um, this is for Saturday, and it's actually Saturday morning. It's about 10 o'clock. We're actually going to head up to the mountains, a little town called Woodland Park. We're going to check out a thrift store that we've never been to as resellers. We've probably been there years ago, but not as resellers. So um, we're going to go check it out and see if we could find some good stuff. Maybe make a haul video. We'll see. Um, but other than that, we're, all, we're also going to take the kids and, you know, get in the woods for a little bit, get away. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do today. But for right now, Kathy's going to go through what has sold for us for Saturday. Hey guys, um, yeah, we got a number of sales overnight, but nothing spectacular, but a bunch of smaller sales that add up. So first up, we'll start with eBay sales. This is just some women's Adidas flip-flops. I did pay $5.99 for these. Um knowing that I was probably only going to make five or six bucks, which is what I made. Um, I sold them for $19.95 with free shipping. Shipping was about $4. But yeah, they sold in like a week, which is what I knew that they would do. So I was happy to pick them up. Next up, these are the brand Petty Ped, some just little baby shoes. So this brand, I pick it up when I find it like three bucks and under. Um, it takes kind of a while to sell usually, but sorry, there's a string in there. I'll get it after, but... It usually takes a while to sell, but it eventually sells, and it's a good baby shoe brand. Um, they're like real leather and stuff. So anyhow, these have been listed like forever, ever. I've sent really low offers, and none of them got accepted. Um, I recently relisted them. I think they were listed at $17.95 with free ship. I relisted them to $15 plus the shipping of $2.93, so somebody finally just bought them outright. I did pay $3 for those at the Once Upon a Child. Next up, these are some baby vintage stride right shoes. I paid just a dollar for these at a local thrift store, and they sold for $19.95 with free shipping and just about a week of being listed. So really good sale there, $1 into $20. I actually have another pair of those I'm going to list soon. So. All right, this is something. So these are just some e-tonic. I don't even know. I think that's how you say it. Golf shoes. So I only picked these up because they look brand new. I don't know anything about really golf or golf things but I know that golf stuff was selling good right now so I picked them up they were $5.99 I figured I couldn't really lose money at $5.99 then I kind of like regretted buying them just because they're not the cutest shoe and anyways so I listed them for $25 plus shipping I think I probably could have listed them for $35 plus shipping but listed them for $25 plus shipping sent an offer to a watcher of $20 plus shipping and they accepted um, these sold in just a couple days so I probably yeah could have gotten more but Happy to see them go. Um, these were almost to the two pound mark, so if I put them in a box, I would have had to pay for three pounds, and I only charged the buyer for two. So I'm going to bubble wrap around this and then put them in a big mailer. All right, next up, I got just a little Genuine Kids shirt, uh, tank top. I have a dollar into this. It sold for $8 plus the shipping. It's just a little duck swimming float thingy for little babies. So I bought, I have like 20 of these. I have some ducks, flamingos, penguins. So you're probably going to see these often if you watch our What's Whole videos. But this is the first one to sell. Um, our Safeway had like clearance on these for $1.50 each. So I picked up like 20 of them. And yeah, I figured it'd be easy to list a multi-quantity listing. And so I'm just listing them at $8.95 because that's what the comps were showing. So not a ton of money. That is with free shipping as well. So $8.95 free shipping. I think I'm making like $2.50 profit, but the way I see it is 20 times $2.50 is like between $45 to $50. Bucks. Obviously, depending on how much the shipping is going to cost on each, but around $3 to $3.50 for shipping. Um, so yeah, if I net two bucks, it took me about 30 minutes to list them all. And then by the time I ship them all, I mean, it's like a minute to ship each one. So less than an hour of time, I'll potentially make 40 to $50 profit over the course of them all selling. And I think that's worth it, so. All right, next up. All right, these are just some Baby Gap denim shorts. These were just my son's. I bought them at the Once Upon a Child, so I have 550 into them. He wore them a ton, um, so we got our wear out of them. I sold them for $13.95 with free ship, so. Made all my money back plus a few extra bucks on those. 
All right, so that was it for eBay. I did have two Facebook buy, sell, trade sales. Um, on Fridays, the Peak Kids board has a deal or no deal day. So sometimes I'll throw some of our shirts up there that haven't sold and see if anyone will just make me an offer. But, well, this one actually wasn't a deal or no deal. This one I had listed previously for $25 with free ship and that's what it sold for. So when the deal or, don't, deal or no deal days are happening, it just makes the board extra busy. So people go back and look at old listings too, which is what happened here and someone bought it. So 25 with free ship. I think I probably paid 20 to 25 for this and it was my son. So I'm happy to make back what I can on that. And then this one sold the deal or no deal. Um, it's just the, it says wild thing. And on the back it says you make my heart sing. So. This one had some stains on it as well as a hole in the back side. I only paid $8 for this from ThreadUp. It was my son's, he wore it and yeah, so what am I trying to say? Oh, somebody offered 15 and I was gonna accept anything that was gonna make me my $8 back. So yeah, I just accepted the 15 with free ship and happy with that. All right, next up, a few Mercari sales. So this I actually just listed yesterday. It's a Carhartt onesie. It says Future Hunter. I just paid a dollar for this and it sold within like an hour of being listed for $12 plus the shipping. All right, this is a men's Marmot? 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 <laughs> I don't know. I'm never gonna know how to say it right. <laughs> Anyways, I'm hoping to find some of these items at the thrift store we're going to today since it's like more of a mountainy town. So I'm kind of excited to see if the people up there wear mountainy brand clothes so anyhow i paid 5.99 for this it's been listed just a week or two and i listed it for 30 plus ship someone offered me 24 so i accepted that and the last mercari sale is a dallas cowboys hat i picked this up last weekend at a garage sale for three dollars i listed it for 20 plus shipping and someone offered me 17 and i accepted that And then the last two are Poshmark. So this first one, I pretty much almost just broke even, maybe made like two bucks off it. It's also Peak Kids, but it's not like one of the graphic tees that are the best sellers. I just thought this was really pretty when I bought it. I love the color burgundy and it has some really nice embroidery on it. Um, I paid $4 for this thinking I could at least sell it for 20. And no, it did not sell. It's been listed over a year. It went to JBF, did not sell, brought it back been sending aggressive offers and I finally sent an offer of and oh it was uh I think I had it listed at 20 I sent an offer to watchers or likers $18 plus free shipping so I'm making like seven dollars and change back on it just happy to see that go and then last sale of the morning is this the brand Loa so these are just some women's like hiking or like work shoes they do have the Vibram soles so this is a good brand in general. The last pair I sold of these were a men's boots and they sold for like $70. So definitely look out for, I think it's Loa. It's just L-O-W-A. And yeah, I paid $5 for these. I listed them for $59. Um, they're kind of dirty. So somebody offered me $22 and I countered them at $50. And I told myself in my head, whatever they come back with, I'll accept. And they came back with $30. So I accepted that. Honestly, I probably would have accepted the 22, but they've been listed not that long and I figured I could get a little more out of them. So $30, I'm making 24 and I paid five, so. All right, just as a garbage truck just came and ran his brakes. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pack these up, take them off to the post office and then head up to the mountains for some family and thrifting time, so. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.